Hey guys, Camille Lambert, field agronomist for Kentucky and Southern Indiana. I'm out looking at corn this morning, looking for specific foliar diseases and application timing of fungicides. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple things that I think you should consider. All right, so looking at this corn, I've got some gray leaf spot moving in. A lot of our foliar diseases will start in the lower canopy and work their way up. You can see I've got some gray leaf spot moving in. Gray leaf spot likes hot, warm weather. Um, but the goal is to protect our ear leaf and the leaves above the ear. The ear leaf is actually the largest leaf on the plant, so we're gonna need a lot of sunlight and photosynthesis produced there. We wanna protect the leaves above, uh, but we wanna keep those leaves clean because 75 to 90% of the carbohydrates needed to fill that ear come from those leaves. So we wanna make sure we stay clean, uh, and we are pretty clean out in this field. I've got a little bit of diplodia that I found on a couple different leaves. Uh, but this field's still clean. We are still pollinating. You can see the pollen shedding everywhere. So we're not quite at brown silk or blister stage. So once this corn's pollinated, the silks will detach and start to turn brown. So my recommendation here is going to be to wait until we got brown silks and then pull the application, uh, pull the trigger on that fungicide application. So our fungicides typically last about 21 days. Some of them a little more give or take depending on weather conditions. But we typically will take about 60 days from the time the silks come out until we have physiological maturity. So we wanna make sure we're as protected as possible. We wanna keep our, our stock strength as well. So I've got a really good plant health out here, a little bit of gray leaf spot, a little bit of diplodia, uh, but it's time to be scouting your fields for that fungicide pass. If you have any questions, please reach out to your local Bex representative.